Thank you, game. Thank you so much. You freaking suck. The technology queue is empty. Oh, I already have one here. Wait a minute, I don't need that then. I put that there. It should be fine. Put one here. Put one right here. And that should be good. It covers like a majority of the base. Alright, now I'm just gonna add in all the uh acid. Acid is damaging our base. Yeah, I I know. I don't know what you want me to do besides uh sit here and look pretty, so I can't even do that. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh the acid rain is over. Let's get our base back in shape. What the heck did it like? It, it just destroyed New like the pipes and like that's it. For development. And it didn't even destroy the pipes. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. You know what? I am gonna delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put this here. Technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. It's a, it's a little bit better. I mean, there in case the water filtering plant gets destroyed, it's gonna. It's not pretty. It's not perfect, but it is. It is a little bit better. Right. Research completed. Yes, let's go get more research. What is this? Corrosive gun three. Let's do that. And that. What is this? Ionizer. It's plasma. I think that's important. I don't remember though. But yeah. Laser. It's a laser gun, guys. Alright, um. Just gotta get a headquarters level 7 and we can get the rest of these upgrades, and then bada bing, bada boom, we have. pretty much everything. Um. Let's get a bio scanner. Oh! <gasps> Purple small machine gun. Let's get that first. Because I actually do want that. Um, don't care about the rest of these. Oh, and purple flamethrower, we can definitely add that to the top of the list. Uh, blaster and plasma gun. This is the rate of fire. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I definitely want this too. So, and... Oop. Cool. Because I want the, uh... I want this first, because that's purple and that's gonna deal a lot of damage holy crap dps is 903 to 2100 like what is it now it's gonna almost double my dps if not double oh i actually hit the tilde key which brings up console commands i do not want it to... my bad game my bad this is somehow still Wait a minute, this is 50 water. This creates 100. Yeah, so this should always have more income than what this has. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and save real quick. It's, it's been a hot minute. It's been like two hours, I think. <laughs> it's just about, if not two hours, <laughs> since I have manually saved. So. Making the progress. My FPS counter went away and I'm not happy about that. I'm not gonna freak out over it, but I'm not happy about it. And it's back, okay, cool. All right, yeah, so let's go to the volcanic area reconnaissance. So this should get us titanium, because the other areas got us palladium, rhodonite, hasnite, 
and yeah, there's oh uranium. Ooh. Like what was the other resource it had had? I just I couldn't think off the top of my head what it was. It's my second cup of coffee. No, oh, one and a half. I want to say it's one and a half because I I like filled up the other one that I had and was like halfway gone, so it's one and a half cups. Great jump successful. Warning, temperature above safety levels. This area is hotter than we expected. My armor is going to sustain damage from the heat. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It looks like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. This crystal contains a rare mineral called Ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It doesn't exist on Earth. The magnetic field in this biome is acting completely strange. It is very fitting to see this mineral here. We should... One second. No. What? I'm really confused. This? No. Sorry. This? No. This? I'm going to lose my mind. I could have swore that I upgraded or was upgrading a bioscanner. And I don't remember where it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. It might be over here. I hope it's over here because I'm... Is it under this? Yeah, it's under this. Oh, God. Bioscanner turret. Purple. Okay. So that hasn't been made yet. So the one I have now is... Blue. Okay. All right. I'm just... Definitely research these crystals. Freaking out over here. This will allow us to gather more Ferdinite and create new equipment. We've landed in the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley, I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly drops in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings from the orbital scanner. This might be it. We have to... One second, I'm gonna go craft my purple machine gun, because... I I really want that. It's 15 to 18 damage. Holy guacamole. Okay, so the fire rate goes up by another 10 per second at minimum. You can have double the mods, so obviously it's already twice as better. And then the damage goes up. I just I don't even know how to explain it. That's crazy. So 1,200, and mine currently is... A thousand. So that's really not a huge increase in damage because this is. Oh, because this increases damage by 28%. So base to base, this is 800. That so it increases by like almost 50% still. Okay, that's. It makes a lot more sense. All right. So this is 1100. 11. This is 1729. Okay, I'm not gonna bother making any more. That is. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, so that deals 17 damage. And fires 0.1 <laughs> more per second. Why is this so much? Projectiles per burst plus 0.1 and projectiles per shot plus 0.3. Okay. That's where a huge amount of the DPS comes in. I'm like, what the heck? Alright, yeah, so we'll go ahead and add that on there. And, uh... Add it again. Enables additional projectiles to be spawned when the target is hit. Oh 
homing projectiles. Uh... Investigate that. Speechless? Um... Yeah, let's... This is amazing. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The temperature around them is much below the <laughs> freezing temperature of water. <laughs> what is this? Ashley, moving closer to this plant. We can study it from up close and cool off. Wow. The chemical compounds that are secreted by these plants. That is freaking nuts. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I don't I don't want that though. Um. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Splash damage. That. That I would like. It's react with the volcanic gases that are Me. present here. This reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it, resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings. It's an astonishing survival mechanism. We can use this effect to our advantage. The space around these plants is safe for us. So we can use it to regenerate while moving around this biome. We should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in a lab. We can do that by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. I would strongly suggest using the bioscanner. It is much more effective at gathering usable samples. And it will not destroy our safety zones. I don't, I don't really know about the whole splash damaging thing, actually. Ammo costs would be nice to, to come down a bit. It's... If I could get like a 50% spread. Oh, God. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Weapon auto aim? What does that even mean? Wait, weapon auto aim and homing sounds pretty OP together on this. Yeah, projectiles per burst is what I would want, if anything. Per shot? Yeah, per shot. Yeah, I want it per shot. That sounds freaking nutty. Oh my god, there's so many particles on the screen. I can't even tell if that's more or less. I mean, it, it obviously has to be more. I just don't know if it like actually is like a lot or it's just kind of there. Well, it deals more damage, I know that. <laughs> oh my god, that deals so much more damage. Holy crap. You know, that just moves things down. I expected. Gather cryo plant specimens. Right! I honestly totally forgot that's why I came here. Is it easy on normal? 
Like child's play. I'm not saying it needs to be nerfed, but like, wow. It's very we beneficial to have samples to study this cryo plants in our alien research laboratory. Let's do this as soon as possible. If we can learn to replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this biome. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research cryotech. Research completed. Okay, cryotech, cryotech. There's crazy. This, yep. Cryotech. Refer to night handling. Fusion for crowd technology. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Self powered rapid environment cooling stages. Building can be placed to quickly reduce the temperature in very hot environments to enable other structures to be built. It requires titanium, though. Wrap. Okay, we will put that to the top of our list and we will put this on our secondary list. There we go. The ash cloud is upon us. Visibility is down and air temperature is up. You wouldn't want to breathe this. Solar panels are disabled as well. Wonderful. So can I mine this stuff? Like, is that a thing? I can. A new technology has been developed. I bet new it just automatically for construction. generates flammable gas. Okay, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it just builds or makes flammable gas. All right. Research completed. Cryo station. So search for titanium ore. I don't even know. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. We have finished researching for night handling. The results are amazing. This mineral will allow us to craft entirely new equipment and weapons of extreme quality. The only problem is that we need to find more of this resource. Mr. Riggs, can you search for large condensations of the entwined night crystals using the orbital scanner? Roger that, Ashley. I have located a potentially Ferdinite rich location. The Richum coordinates are marked on the orbital scanner interface. Okay. Sounds pretty cute. Magma pool. So it can turn magma into something else. Interesting. Alright, well, um. Oh, I can't even build here. Okay, well, good luck, I guess. I'm gonna try and get whatever this is. Gotta be something good, right? Well, that already blew up, so that ain't good. Okay, I ain't getting this, I ain't getting it. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Wow. So much going on right now. Oh, there we go. Dead. Okay, that 
That went over a lot better than I expected. I mean, like, I expected it to go over pretty easily, but, like, that was so easy it was honestly a little depressing. I'm not getting any new skins or anything. I wonder if that's all they have in the game for right now, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. It's just, uh... Yeah. Alright, so I guess I have to go to a new place now, because it doesn't... Tanzanite Concentration. Old radars in the volcanic area located titanium deposit and infertonite. So we'll go here first. Obvious reasons need the titanium. So we're trying to go get the titanium. Oh shoot! Not that I'm getting tired, but oh, I got about another hour in me at most. Hate to say it, I really do. Neck is killing me. I don't even know why. It's because I'm getting old. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Rift jump successful. Gravitational anomaly detected. Gravitational strength 0.56 g. Magnetic field anomaly detected. My sensors are receiving a lot of interference. Wow, the parameters in this area are crazy. It's like a completely different planet. The gravity in this place is acting weird. Something must be causing this. Ashley, let's focus on finding the titanium deposit that should be somewhere in this area. We can triangulate its position by building a network of radar stations. You're right. We can investigate what's causing these anomalies as we move forward. We can place the radar stations in the safe zones created by the cryopans. We can also construct cryo stations of our own. However, they require titanium to be built. We can find small amounts of titanium by harvesting cryo plants. Building cryo stations won't make much sense until we can find a much larger titanium deposit. Let's not waste titanium unless it's necessary. She's got a point. All right, uh, you know, obviously can't build those, so. What's this? Oh, that sounds important. Okay, um, yeah, I can actually build another laboratory and another two armories. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so, need a radar station that requires six energy okay, and power. we've built the first radar station. It isn't easy to provide enough power in this biome. The atmosphere is very thick, and it's reducing the effectiveness of wind and solar generators. We will need a few additional radar stations to triangulate the position of the titanium deposit. Try to place them as far from each other as possible. They need to cover a wide area. Ah, screw you, buddy. Thank you. 